Hello, welcome to this CWP tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the cPanel Server Migration Module on Control Web Panel. The new cPanel Server Migration Module is designed to easily migrate multiple accounts and packages created in cPanel to your CWP server. The module quickly enables migration of multiple accounts and multiple remote servers, configuration of the number of simultaneous processes, package and account migration, and includes accounts with usernames over eight characters. To perform the migration, there are just a few simple steps. First of all, you'll have to log into the cPanel Web Host Manager, WHM. To do so, simply navigate to port 2087 of your server IP or hostname and log in with root access. Once you're in the WHM, we need to find the Manage API Tokens module. In the sidebar menu, it's located near the bottom under the development subheading, Manage API Tokens. The quick way to find this is just to simply type API in the search bar, and the options are greatly reduced. Simply click on that, and this opens the Manage API Tokens interface. Next, click on this blue button that says Generate Token, and give your token a name. You can't include any spaces or special characters. Next, scroll all the way to the bottom and select the box that says Everything. And this will import the complete set of privileges. Next, click Save. And the API token is generated. Copy your token and save it to a safe place. Make sure it's saved somewhere other than just your clipboard because you won't be able to retrieve it later. Then you can click the button, yes, I saved my token. And here's your migration token saved. You have the option to edit the name of the token if you wish, or the privileges, or you can simply revoke. But if you have not saved your token key, then you simply revoke this token and generate a new one. Now we can log out of WHM. And we can log into CWP admin panel. To access CWP, simply navigate to your server IP, port 2031, and log in. From the dashboard, we'll just scroll over to the sidebar, down to the user accounts submenu, and twirl down and we'll find the cPanel server migration module here. So we'll click on that. And we see the instructions to create the token API using WHM, which we've already done. Next, we're asked to enter the server IP of the origin server. And we have to provide the username with administrator privileges and the password of our administrator account. And this password will not be stored, it's only used to establish the connection. Then we'll provide the SSH port for our destination server. Migration from cPanel requires the port to be open with password access for SSH. Next, we're asked for the API key that we received from cPanel WHM. So we'll copy that from our saved copy and paste that. And we can set the maximum number of simultaneous account transfers that will be running per session. When we're done, click the blue button here, test and save. And we see the success dialog to let us know that the connection has been made. If you have an issue with establishing a connection, make sure that you whitelist the IPs on both the originating and destination servers. Now that the connection to our origin server has been established, click on the server IP of the server that you want to migrate from. This will open a list of all the available packages and accounts on that server available to be migrated. And as well, we'll see that reseller and suspended accounts are indicated. Simply put check marks in the boxes of the packages that you wish to migrate, and then scroll down 
and select the accounts that you wish to migrate. And indicate if you wish to copy the home directory and databases for those as well. Next, just scroll to the bottom and start migration. And we can watch the migrations occur in real time. The packages will import fairly quickly. And we can see the migration logs here at the bottom of the page. And this process will run in the background. So if we have other work to do, we can navigate to other areas of CWP. We'll be notified when the process is complete. Or if we want to return and monitor the activity, we can go back to user accounts, open the cPanel server migration, and we can watch the migration in real time by clicking the view button. If we need to, we can stop and cancel as well. And we'll receive the notification that the transfer is complete. And we can scroll down and review the summary migration logs to see the various actions that were taken. If we refresh the cPanel migration module and return to the remote server, we'll see that all the packages and accounts that have previously been transferred are now labeled. Previous migration sessions are all summarized at the top with a status indicator, and we have the options to view or delete. If we choose to view, we can go back and see the summary migration logs as well. And that's how easy it is to migrate your cPanel server, accounts and packages to CWP. For more information, please consult our admin guide. Thanks very much for watching.